Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C and we're looking at using the AIM-7 Sparrow. So we can have them on pylons 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8. One on each pylon and the derivatives we have are the AIM-7 Foxtrot, AIM-7 Mike and AIM-7 Mike Hotel. That's an old one, that's a modern one, that's a modern one with better loft avionics and home on jam facility. So this one is going to be the one that you have. Let's arm up with 6. is a FOX-1 type semi-active radar homing missile with a maximum range of between 6 miles and 30 miles depending on aspect, altitude and speed of us and a hostile. Our controls for today will be to fire the missile, press and hold gun trigger second detent. To select the missile, select Sparrow. To acquire a radar BVR track, throttle designated depress and the TDC keys up down left and right if we need them. Then to select switch forward if we need to get an ACM mode to gain a lock and undesignate if we want to undesignate a lock. So there are three methods of firing missile. There is flood mode, there is STT track mode, and there is home and jam mode. Home and jam mode it does not exist at this time. We'll cover that in a separate video. STT we'll look at and flood we'll look at. First we'll look at flood. If we cannot get a radar track on the hostile for some reason or if we don't want to, then we will use flood mode. If we check our master arm is on and we select the weapon, then this will automatically put us in flood mode. In flood mode, we do not get a radar lock. We will just fire the missile and it will automatically seek our radar We'll seek a target within this bore site here up to a range of 10 nautical miles. There is no choosing which target, so if there are multiple targets within the parameters, it will just go for the first target that it sees. This is mainly used in a dogfight if for some reason you cannot get a track on your target. The size of a target can be small, medium or large, and that calibrates the fusing of the missile. We have different modes. We've got loft, normal or helo. Loft will loft the missile up high on a high trajectory and gain extra range for long range shots. Normal is just normal missile firing and hello is specifically for helicopters. We can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six mic variants and this is the one that's currently selected. Our master arm is on and we can do a sparrow test here if we want. Symbology on the hard, that is our flood search there and we currently have aim seven mic variant and six of them and I can see four targets. You may not be able to see them on your screen yet so I'll get a little bit closer. All I gotta do is ensure the targets are within the circle and I'll fire now. Now, the missile is firing out now. You'll usually see that it's found a target when it starts maneuvering. We've also got here, it tells us that it's seeking in flood mode here, and we've got 15 SL. That means the radar mode is currently in straight line mode. It's telling us that it will release the radar from straight line mode in 15 seconds. Let's see if it's found something. It may or may not find something. No, it hasn't. So let's try again. And it's simply not suitable in, in some situations. For instance, the target's flanking like they are now. It's very bad for this kind of target. Let's try again. I'm going to try there. And I'd like to give him a little bit of lead as well. Fire. Let's see if it can find anything. It looks like it's guiding this time. It had a definite swerve to the left. So I hope to see something this time. And that's it. Next, let's look at STT radar track mode. So for radar track mode, we must have an STT, a single target track. That's the only mode we can use. We can get that through a BVR radar acquisition or ACM radar acquisition. And we have videos explaining both methods thoroughly. So in this case, I'm just going to get on and do a BVR acquisition. Choose the guy at the front here. Target lock, target lock. That is an STT. And I'm going to select my missile as well would help. So I've got my missile selected. And let's go and find the target. We've got lots of symbology we need to blast through in the HUD, in the SMS, and in the attack radar screen. In the HUD, target designator box shows where the target is. This circle, ASE circle, allowable steering ever. This here, the steering dot, what we must do to fire this missile to ensure a good shot is to ensure that this dot here is within the ASE circle when we press the trigger. Well, the closer this dot is to the center of the circle, the more efficient the shot. Our RDR tells us we have a radar track. Our 670 VC is our closing velocity in knots. This is the range between myself and the hostile. 16 here, 16 seconds TOF, time of flight of the missile if I were to fire it now. Inside and outside of the ASC circle are several markers of use. This one here is the relative hostile aspect. This is telling us that the hostile is heading, well, flanking left mainly. If it was up here, it would be relatively heading away from me. If it was down there, relatively it would be heading towards me. So it's hot and slightly to the left. Next is our range scale. This guy here will count down from the top here at a certain distance 
As it winds inwards, we're getting closer to the target. This represents 7.7 .7 miles. If it wound all the way back to here, it will be at zero miles. That, that, and that triangle marker represent certain ranges. That are a max. This is the maximum range that we can fire the missile to hit him, assuming that he does not dodge. This is our lethal or our no escape. Even if he does dodge within this range here, then there's still a good chance of us hitting him. And this is our min. All missiles have a minimum range. We want to fire at least within our max here, ideally within our lethal here. When we are within our max here and our steering dot is in the ASC circle, we will have a solid shoot sign. When the steering dot is within the AS circle and we are within the no escape queue here, then we will have shoot and it will be flashing. That is the optimal time to shoot. Down here, the missiles we've got selected again. I've accidentally left loft mode on this time. Hopefully it will not impede us. Next, down to the SMS page, a whole bunch of parameters. I'm not going to go through them now, but you can get a good idea. We've got range, altitude of targets, his true airspeed, and various other parameters. Some of them that we've been looking at on the HUD, and some of them are new. And a lot of this is going to be repeated over in the radar screen. Steering dot, ASA circle, target, R max, I think is up there, R lethal, R no escape there, hostile altitude, hostile speed, R min there let's get the shot done let's move the dot into the circle wait until we're in range and then fire we're in now and trigger and she's away she'll produce the necessary lead and hopefully that will be a kill Kaboomy! The only thing I forgot to point out was that the TOF time of flight here changed to TTG and there was a countdown timer saying time to go for the missile impacts. Take that with a massive grain of salt because it always assumes that the hostile is not going to turn or manoeuvre. We'll cover home and jam when it comes. I hope that was useful and see you later.